Today we are taking a look at the Black Widow fighter from the Unmatched Games. Now Black Widow is from the Marvel King and Country set along with Black Panther and Winter Soldier. Black Widow is the former Russian secret agent that has come over to work with S.H.I.E.L.D. She is just a super awesome spy. She is good at fighting. She's got these batons and are assuming some pew pews or something since she is ranged. Her sidekick is the S.H.I.E.L.D. higher up Maria Hill who has um, been assistant director and director at various times in the comics. In the MCU we have seen her um, a fair bit. Um, in the comics she can actually get pretty pretty nasty. You can see uh, Black Widow's hard art here which is pretty awesome with the the widow, Black Widow symbol behind her um, and some of the other shield stuff in the background there and of course the big explosion that she is jumping away from on her mini which is pretty awesome going to take a look at Black Widow's character card here. Black Widow is a ranged fighter with a health of 13. That is not a whole lot of health. She has a sidekick, Maria Hill, who is also ranged with a health of 6. They have a move of 2. Her special ability is mission ready. Before drawing the starting hand, add the Moscow Protocol card to your hand. Then shuffle your deck and draw 5 cards. Your starting hand is 6 cards instead of 5. We also have a second rule card, which gives us some more rules. When you acquire a new mission, reveal cards from the top of your deck one at a time until you reveal a new mission card. Add that mission card to your hand, then shuffle the other cards you revealed back into your deck. If you do not have any missions left in your deck, you do not acquire a new mission. So yeah, the um, rule book here goes over a few other things here that her schemes are called missions. You start with Moscow Protocol in your hand and then put five more in there. So you start with six cards. Um, unlike typical schemes, each mission has a requirement that must be met before you can play it. You cannot take the scheme action to play a card if you do not meet the requirement for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. One thing um, you'll notice if you count her cards is that since she starts with this extra card in hand, um, this... Um, Moscow Protocol, she actually has 31 cards in her deck instead of 30. So these are very, very different. As you can see, this one has the um, note here at the bottom. You start the game with this card in your hand. So you start with this one. And as you can see, all these missions have something that you have to do to be able to get it. The mission, an opposing fighter took damage this turn. Draw one card and gain one action. Acquire a new mission. So, at some point, if an opposing fighter took damage this turn, you can play this scheme to draw a card and gain an action. In addition to drawing a card and gaining an action, you will acquire a new mission, which that will be reveal cards from your deck one at a time until another card comes out and shows up. Um, so... Um, a few ramifications here of revealing. Well, first of all, you're revealing cards from your deck. So your opponents are going to see all the cards that are in your deck. Your opponent is also going to see the mission that you draw and put into your hand. So um, they'll know what missions you have. They obviously know you start with uh, Moscow Protocol. And they'll know these other ones as they come out. Um, so let's um, say that you're in the weird situation where you drew one out of your deck here and it's in your hand and you play one and that one that's in your hand is the last one um, well it says if you do not have any missions left in your deck you do not acquire a new mission um, and so while the rules don't explicitly state this um, what you would do is just say that there aren't any more in your deck um, and since at that point they would be able to know what mission is in your hand you would probably just go ahead and reveal it um, and just show that it's in your hand because they would know that it's in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at these other four missions. The Madripoor Sanction. Black Widow is in an opponent's starting space. That's going to be these spaces here with the little numbers on them. It has to be in an opponent's space. 
deal two damage to each of that opponent's fighters acquire a new mission so it's just going to be that opponent's fighter so you got to go to their space and do that the budapest gambit you have two or fewer cards in your hand draw five cards each opponent discards one random card acquire a new mission the forenza agenda black widow is adjacent to an opposing hero deal two damage to each opposing fighter in black widow zone so she just has to be adjacent to do it but she will damage each opposing fighter in her zone um, so she can damage ones that she's not opposed so she can um, damage ones that she is not adjacent to of course acquire a new mission and the kinshasa directive mission black widow is in your starting space that is going to be the starting space of your number choose an opponent they discard two cards acquire a new mission so you see these missions can be quite strong effects here but they do have things that have to happen to be able to pull them off you will see that they are also all four boost which is really really big um so you can decide you don't want to use a mission and just use it for the boost value which could be a lot um that can be a problem if it gets grabbed by something like an ambush or if black panther ends up sticking it in his vibranium suit let's go ahead and take a look at our other cards here widow's sting this is an attack of five move black widow up to three spaces widow's bite An attack of four if you want to combat your opponent discards one card widow's kiss a versal of four the opposing fighter may not leave their space for the rest of the turn that's kind of like um, terrifying roar except it only affects the opposing fighter and not all fighters widow's line versatile of three move the opposing fighter up to two spaces and caught in the web a versal of three cancel all after combat effects on your opponent's card that is a very interesting effect this is the first time that we've seen them cancel just things like after combat effects so that is a very new card there going into some of maria hill cards here acting director of shield this is a versal of four move each of your fighters up to three spaces they may move through opposing fighters then shuffle one scheme from your discard pile into your deck so it's basically going to allow you to take one of these missions that you have already used because all of her missions are schemes and put one of these missions back into the discard pile so maria can be very helpful there to be able to help you to um reuse these missions here and that's potentially um three of these here if they don't get fainted and if maria is able to pull them all off so maria is um a sidekick that has a big target on her but she does have ways to deal with that life model decoy this is just a uh, defense of zero if maria hill was defeated place her adjacent to black widow if you do set maria hill's health to three so um if Maria Hill is only sitting around at like, you know, really low health, you could play this, have her get defeated, and then just bring her right back and set her to three. So this, this is kind of like Arthur's Holy Grail, except um, this works specifically only if you were defeated. Fake out. This is a hack of one. We're into the innies here. If you lost to combat, draw one card and gain one action. So it's basically exactly what it sounds like. They're just a fake out. You'll probably lose that. Then you get to draw a card, gain an action, and maybe smack your opponent another time. Double identity. Three copies of this. A defense of three. Black Widow and Maria Hill may swap spaces. If they do, your other fighter is now the defender. This is another way that you can keep um, either Widow or... Um, maria hill alive since um you know this lets you switch which one is going to be the fighter there 
And finally, Faint. Reversal of two. Cancel all effects on your opponent's card. Interesting to point out that she has that in addition to Caught in the Web, which cancels after combat effects. Um, so she has quite a bit of cancels. Um, these just being very um, specific cancels. So we see that these missions can be really, really big. Um, if you can manage to draw some in your hand that they don't know about, it can really um, be quite useful for you. Maria Hill is going to be really big there. Being able to bring three of those um, missions back is really a big deal, particularly the damage and discard ones. So um, that can be huge. So you definitely want to be able to keep Maria around. Widow doesn't have a whole lot of health and she doesn't have any healing in here. So that's going to be a big downside for her, although she's got a pretty good set of uh, defenses here and fives are just always like good solid attacks um, I mean they're just good solid attacks a ranged five is is pretty good so anyway that is a look at Marvel's Black Widow fighter here so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and a like you can go down into the comment section and let me know any thoughts that you have down there. And you can also subscribe to my channel to make sure that you don't miss any of the videos that I post so you can catch everything. This is Jeremy with To The Tabletop and we'll see you around next time.